And George Foreman admits that he gave Muhammad Ali everything he had. And Muhammad Ali grabbed him and pulled him to him. Old man hadn't fought in years, hurt. And Muhammad Ali pulled him to him and said, is that all you got? And George Foreman said, when he heard the words, is that all you got? It penetrated his spirit. They said, I didn't gave my man everything I got. I can't see him to knock me down. And Muhammad Ali said, when he said that to him, he looked into the pupils of his eyes, and he said at that point, he knew George Foreman. Lay hold of it. You lay hold of it. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. Some of you are so ignorant. You've been through so much hell. You gonna quit now? You should have quit 10 years ago when you got raped. You should have quit 10 years ago when he walked out on you. You should have been quit. You don't quit now. It's the 10th round. You got two more to go. And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. It's about stamina. It's about you won't break me. You can't take me. I fought too long. I fought too hard. If I was going to quit Satan, you should have got me a 17 home. You should have broke me when I was eating out of trash can. It's too late now. It's too late. You should have broke me a long time ago. I'm unbreakable now. Your only chance at this point is you got to kill me. You got to kill me now. And then when you kill me, MLK, my legacy will live. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? You not hearing what I'm telling you? Y'all thinking it's about talent, it's not. It's about taking the gift you got and, and laying hold of it. Have you ever laid hold of something? You created that thing, this ain't no job. That thing speaks about who you are as a person, how you approach life. This ain't no, this ain't no gig. This is the essence of who I am. This is my spirit, this is my character. This ain't no job. Why are you treating it like a job? It's your calling. Lay hold of it. Some of you need to stop listening to motivational speaking and you need to become one. You need to stop being inspired and you need to start inspiring. I don't know who you are, but you know you fiend out. You, you watched enough videos. No more video ain't going to do nothing for you. Action is going to do something for you now. Everybody always talks about getting to the top. Everybody always talks about going after their dream. But nobody talks about retention, retention, retention. And the work that is required not only to get there, but to stay there and go to the next level. And so the mentality you're going to have to have if you're going to win, if you're going to conquer your day, conquer your week, if you're going to dominate the month, if you're going to crush the quarter, if you're going to win the year, I need you to remember that talent does not win championships, work ethic does. Here's the mentality you're going to need. That nobody's going to outwork you. I'm sorry, I love you, but you're not going to outwork me. I'm with you, but you're not going to outwork me. We're connected, but you're not going to outwork me. We can dream together, we can lean in together, but you're not going to outwork me. We may be in the same class, but you're not going to outwork me. Number one, I need you to have the made up and fully persuaded mind that nobody is going to outwork you. Stop sitting around moping and complaining and waiting for somebody to connect the dots for you. Put the work in and take the stairs to the top. You gotta be willing to lose sleep to go after this dream. You have to be willing to lose sleep to graduate. You have to be willing to lose sleep to pass the exam. I need you to have a whatever it takes mentality. If you wanna win, you're gonna have to get upset sometimes. And I'm not talking about uh, a non-productive anger. I'm talking about a massively productive disappointment. You're gonna have to get disappointed sometimes with where you are. This is what I like to call proactive disappointment. I'm upset with where I am. I'm upset with what I have not accomplished. I'm upset that every time I've allowed myself to be distracted, get upset, get disappointed with yourself. There's a difference between disappointment and depression. You're not depressed, you're not down, you're not out, you're just disappointed, you're upset. 
with the moments in your life where you allowed yourself to sink into depression, where you allowed yourself to become distracted, get upset, get flat out mad about where you are. Don't get mad to quit, get mad to keep going. That's the problem is that you have to rewire and redirect your anger. I'm not gonna be upset and quit. I'm gonna get mad and stay in it. From this moment on, I need you to give it everything you have. Man.